In this tech tip, I will show you how to use Form Editor Wizard to convert a traditional label print form to a customized form. This makes it easy for you to leverage customized forms without doing extra work to recreate them from scratch. A customized form allows you to set specific data formats and controls on data entry, reducing the risk for errors on your labels. To do this, you start by right-clicking on your traditional form, selecting Form Settings, and changing it from Automatic to Custom. After you click OK, you right-click on your blank form and select Edit Form. From there, you have the option to convert from an automatic form, like we're doing today, convert the controls manually, which would mean you just wanted to work with a subset of your variables, or start with a complete blank form. Uh, for this demonstration, we're going to convert from automatic form. From here, you can select how you'd like each of the variables to be represented on that form. We'll start by selecting class, and having that be a radio button list. We'll be able to do further configuration and see what a radio button list is when we bring the form up. We'll use capacity to demonstrate our slider, which allows a user to not have to manually type something in, but move a scroll bar back and forth to select it. We'll use a numeric up-down ticker for water consumption. And for date, we'll use the date picker. As you can see in the drop-down list, there are other options, and our help documentation can walk you through those as well if you'd like. Um, for the demo today, we're going to cover these five. From here, you click Finish. You can resize your form uh, to make it the size in which you'd like. First, we're going to configure our radio button list. Um, you simply click on the radio button list, Click the ellipsis to expand the available items. Um, you can check the checkbox to have the display text match the value you'd like it to influence on the label. You can grow the amount of fields you'd like to use, and then you can populate them. From there, you can click OK. In this case, my list got a little bigger, so I need to rearrange some items on my label in an effort to fit them. I'd also like the user making this choice to know that they're selecting the class of the product. So I'm going to add a label here that lets us know that they are selecting class. You can see that the capacity slider uh, lets you set up a minimum, a maximum, and the step count. Today, we're going to have our um, minimum and maximum to 100, but we'll have the steps go by 5. And then with water consumption, you can also select a minimum and a maximum and the increment method. For this increment method, we're going to go by 0.5. For the date picker, you have several options, but the one you'll most likely be tweaking is the date format. From here, you can apply this change. In closing the form editor tool, you'll notice your new form becomes available, and then you can experiment with the interaction with it to make sure that it's impacting your label the way in which you expected to drive those efficiencies for your user. Converting your traditional label print forms to customized forms makes print time data entry easier and more standardized, and CodeSoft and LabelView make conversion easy. Thanks for watching this tech tip. For more information, visit us at techlinks.com or access our support center at support.techlinks.com. Thank you for allowing us to help you barcode better.